We're back with The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa and uh, we're looking at the issue of the Constitution and its amendment. The National Assembly had in March passed 44 bills to amend key provision of the 1999 Constitution and transmit same to 36 states for endorsement or otherwise as part of the constitutional process. Well, the uh, process requires that the endorsement of not less than two-thirds of the 36 houses of assembly for any of the bills to sail through. However, the only 20, 21 states acted on the bill as of December the 6th, according to the Conference of State Assembly Speaker. Well, at a digital and distinguished parliamentary lecture organized by the National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Bajabi Amila, said he was doubtful if the Constitution review exercise would be concluded before the Ninth Assembly winded up its activities in June 2023. The National Assembly passed a raft of amendments to the Constitution and advanced them to the states as required. That process now seems to have been stalled in state assemblies as is it today, it is very doubtful that the current constitutional amendment effort will be concluded before the expiration of the legislative term, just like I'd mentioned earlier on. However, Speaker and Senate President urged the Governor of Kaduna State, who was also present at that occasion, Nasir Erufai, who chaired the occasion, by the way, to prevail on his governor colleagues to encourage their Houses of Assembly to transmit back to the National Assembly their response on the bill. But we, we have to bring our guests at this point in time and joining us to make sense of all of this is a legal practitioner, Festus Oguche. Uh, thank you so much. He joins from Port Harcourt. Thank you, Festus, for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. All right, then. Uh, let's quickly look at what the issue is. Now, I remember vividly that in October uh, 2022, sometime this year, 25 states had threatened not to take action on the bills unless uh, you know, four more constitutional amendment bills are considered and passed by the National Assembly. On the other hand, there were also cases where you had Omo Agege, who had accused some of the governors of frustrating the process and trying to turn them to their puppets. Or, uh, what exactly do you think is responsible for this um, process, stalling the process? Well, from the onset, it, is very, it was very clear that uh, Nigerians were not very enthusiastic about it. But it's a process that the National Assembly insisted on, on um, going on with, um, apparently because uh, maybe they wanted to get some aspects of the Constitution taken care of, which is very important because we can, the entire document is something that requires a lot of amendments. That is, if uh, we all agree that that document should continue to be our organic instrument, our ground norm. Um, uh, the the, the uh, Fed group was quite emphatic about it. And on the, uh, on the entire process. Um, uh, some of us saw it and it said us. Uh, um, <laughs> Festus, can you hear us? Hello. Well, we, we seem to have had, uh, you know, lost connection with you, but we'd like you to continue with your thoughts if you can hear us. Oh, I'm sorry. The thing is that the amendment process itself is not quite transparent as expected. And that is number one. Secondly, is that the National Assembly was not prepared because the issues that call for amendments are not even taken care of. They went into other uh, areas that are not very significant or important uh, to ensure that we have a holistic constitutional amendment process that can be um, um, appended with the signature or the proposed document. I think the effort should have been geared towards making an, an entirely new constitution because you cannot consider amendments upon amendments and upon amendments and expect to get a perfect thing. If you want anything good for this country, I think the entire process should be subsumed into a process that will make for the emergence of the people's constitution. Hello, are you getting me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Yes, we can hear you. I'm so sorry. We can hear you. Go ahead. 
Okay. So, we, 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 we talked about the case. When in our got to the state, at, at least, we expected the state has to will respond in very clear um, and energetic terms. So, but unfortunately, um, you see a number of states that are not working. It. The rest are just um, standing by. It's virtually nothing. Um, the aspects of the amendment that have been done have not been put to the public. And I don't know if uh, they are considering anything like a referendum because it's not that just sit in the House of Assembly and amend the Constitution without putting the people's uh, um, uh, the, the, uh, way of confirmation, a way of referendum. You tell them, and they say there's nothing like a referendum in the Constitution. You don't have to have a referendum before in the Constitution before you apply it as a constitutional democratic process, if you are aligned with the principles of democracy, if you are aligned with the principles of constitutionalism. But then, if the states are not acting in a manner that expected them to make sure that the process comes to an end or a fruitful end, then of course it's fair to that Nigeria are not ready for it. All right. Uh, uh, thank you, Chief Oguche. Um you know, houses of assembly, state houses of assembly have, uh, uh, they, they move at the speed of light, almost at the speed of light when it comes to passing bills, especially the ones that are sent by the governors. Um, for instance, recently, uh, River State House of Assembly, uh, which is where you're reaching us from, Port Haku, that is, uh, passed the Advertisement and Use of State-Owned Properties Prohibition Bill 2022. Now, listen to some civil society activists, you know, commenting on, on that bill and it seemed like it was passed so quickly in fact the public hearing was, was it was concluded in under an hour before those who were on their way to the uh, state house assembly chambers to go attend the public hearing and when they got there just like uh, mike tyson who when you pay you buy his ticket to watch his his uh, his match before you sit down he's already finished the match because he'll knock his opponent in the first round uh, they passed they did the public hearing before people could even arrive at the venue and then the bill was passed very quickly so why is it that it's taking such a long time for the State Housing Assembly, when we know they can pass bills quickly, uh, to stall on such a very important uh, uh, issue of constitutional amendment? 44 bills that were agreed between the House of Reps and Senate passed through the states. Only 11 states, as we speak, have, have uh, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, have ratified it, namely... Uh, Abia State, Akwaibom State, Anambra State, Delta State, Edo State, Kaduna State, Kasina State, Kogi State, Lagos State, Ogun State, and Oshun State. So, what is the problem, as far as you can tell? Well, the, the problem has to do with the capacity of the legislature in the democratic system, which uh, tells us a lot about the fact that the the legislature is just an appendage of the executive. If they don't have any chance in the matter, the legislature will scout out to what the we, the governor, present them. And if you look around, you'll see that the, the, the hand of the governor in some of those things that are listed that have complied uh, uh, in the election and the constitutional amendment process. And, in the area of several years. That's why we're saying that these institutions, these institutions that are very um, important in the democratic process need to be strengthened so that they can function on their own without any interference from the executive. The judiciary is also there that has bothered that problem. Because you are very important at the initial stages to carry out of assembly that are, are, are long in the manner that it should be. I don't think it's something that should be done um, in the, to the exclusion of the state houses of assembly. The national assembly members doing it is purely their own act without taking into consideration the fact that at the end of the day, they must give the approval of the acts of assembly of the state. Yes, All right, we seem to be having a difficult uh, tea with the connection, uh, Chief Oguche. Uh, but can you hear us? I can hear you like very loudly. Okay, is, is there anything to, to hide? Is there anything for these state houses of assembly, uh, assemblies to, to be afraid of? Uh, is there anything in these 44 bills for the governors to not want 
to allow the assemblies, if, if I can use that, that word, pass? There are so many things to be afraid of. In the first place, I don't think the constitutional amendment process says that it amendment the issue by the ICS. We have to go now, and unfortunately, uh, we don't have a very smooth connection with you, and we can oh, barely sorry. hear you. Yes, but we, we hope that we have this conversation some other time because it's very critical for our democracy. Thank you so much for making our time to be with us. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, then. Fessus Uguche is a legal practitioner. He joins us from Patakat, but that's the size of it. Uh, we will, you know, take a break and it will be the end of the show at this point in time, not that we have to come yes, back. Indeed. Because uh, when we return at 9 o'clock of the time for the newsroom to come with the news brief, my name is Messi Eboko. And uh, my name is Kofi Bartels. Messi, before we go, it's quite interesting to see uh, the alterations to the Constitution, you know, uh, about 44 of them. I think anyone who can go into those 44 bills, uh, those alterations, may have a better idea of what may be at play here. And I hope we'll have some more time to talk about this subsequently. Uh, we'll return tomorrow, uh, same time, uh, same station. Follow us on social media and all the platforms that simply search for Plus TV Africa. My name is Kofi Bartels. Good morning.